This problem is for white to play. If black were to move, this would be too easy, because white only has two liberties left, and black has three left. So white must extend its own liberties, right? If white occupies black's liberties, this won't work, because black can Atari here, and white will die this way. So this number one will not work. Of course, playing on the outside will not work either. So white has a few choices, right? If white tries to preserve its own eye space, then this will become a co, right? This will be a co, and that is not the correct answer. If white plays this, of course, black should not play this inside liberty, right? Black can play outside like this. And now, once again, white must try to have some eye space. And this will, once again, be a co, because now black has achieved Atari on white, and white must capture this, and this will be a co. So number one is also wrong, because number two can start a co. So the correct move is right here, this tiger's mouth. It's a really neat pattern here on the corner. Black cannot come in here, obviously, so the best black can do is this. And now, White can bend here on the first line. Black Ataris, white connects, and now black cannot come on either side. Therefore, the best black can try is this, but now it's too late for black. White will be able to capture like this. If black tries this first, then white can either play this or this, and black will still be dead. So this is a neat little pattern. May or may not come up in games, but it is a very good exercise for calculating. Thank you for watching.